everybody, it's Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com. I am super excited to be showing you, number one, a card today, but also to be talking to you a little bit about my newest online class using this gorgeous bundle of product called Forever Lovely. So I've got all the dies and framelits cut out here so you can see what they do. It includes the beautiful All My Love ribbon combo pack, the All My Love Designer Series paper, heart epoxy droplets, and the stamp set. I have had a blast with this, and can I just say I'm really proud of this class because it went together easily, which means this is an easy bundle to create with, and I made some fabulous cards with so many different elements and tips. So. Um, this is the card that I am going to be sharing with you today. We are going to use this die in here, and I'm going to show you how to use this right in the middle of a layer on the front of your card. And don't you love those epoxy hearts? They are so pretty. Let's get started. Then I'll talk to you a little bit about my online class. The first thing I'm going to do here is bring in my cardstock layers. So I've got a layer of Whisper White. This is for the inside of our card. It is four by five and a quarter. Then I've got a layer of Lovely Lipstick. Now this is one of the coordinating colors in the All My Love Designer Series paper. And this is four and a quarter by 11 and I've scored it at five and a half. So we're just going to fold that in half and burnish it. Then I've got another piece of Whisper White. This one is four by five and a half. A piece of the gorgeous All My Love Designer Series paper. This is three and seven eighths by five and a half. And two pieces of Whisper White. The smaller piece is three by four and a quarter. The larger piece is kind of a scrap, but not quite. <laughs> three and a half by four and a half. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is get some stamping done here. We're going to take the smallest piece of our Whisper White. So this is the piece that is three by four and a quarter. And I'm going to bring in my Stamparatus. Now, the Stamparatus is a fabulous tool to use with stamp sets that have two-step stamping like this one. Hang on, I've got one of my hairs in there. I've been, I don't know, I've been getting hair everywhere lately. It's, it's cold here in Wisconsin. I should not be shedding. <laughs> um, so you don't have to have the Stamparatus for this stamp set, but it sure is helpful. So this is what I did. I'm going to place this piece in my Stamparatus so that I want it to be stamped so the flowers are kind of in the middle. So I'm just going to move it around here a little bit till I find out where that is. And of course, if you were just starting and didn't have this on your Stamparatus, the um, stamp, you could position it the way you need it to be positioned. But I'm just going to do this for now because I've already kind of got it in here. Okay, so that looks really good. So now what I've been doing is I like to use this grid paper. Now, if you don't have grid paper for your Stamparatus, you want to get a pack of it. It's not expensive. I don't. You get like, I don't know, 50 or 100 sheets, I'm not even sure, but it's a ton of paper. And um, it fits right in here perfectly, and then I can write on this, which I really like. So I'm gonna write on this, and I'm gonna kinda do this because I've got other marks on here, and I wanna make sure that I'm using the right marks. So I've got my star. That's the one we're using for today. Okay, then we're gonna bring our magnets in. Make sure you're not letting these magnets smack together because they will break. And I did break a, one magnet because it clashed together like that and you can't get them apart. Well, you can, but it's hard. I'm using Lovely Lipstick ink here. And a little tip on using the Stamparatus is to take your stamp set, I'm looking for where did mine go? and lay that right under that plate. It keeps it up flat so it's not slanted down, and that's just easier for you to ink up your images. Lovely lipstick ink. We're going to close that, and give it some really good pressure, and open it back up. 
Now, the reason why I put those marks on there is because our photopolymer stamps are really sticky, right? So sometimes it'll make your cardstock move and I wanted to make sure I could get it right back into position. Pear Pizzazz ink is what we're gonna use on our leaf images. And let me see if I can find another stamp set here. I know I've got a million of them, right? <laughs> I'm gonna just set that under here. Not a million, I don't have a million. <laughs> I'd like a million. Have to buy another house. Okay, and then we're just gonna stamp this right over top. Ugh, delicious, don't you think? It's just so, so pretty. All right, we're gonna move this out of the way and I'll clean this up in just a minute. I can set this off to the side. And now I'm gonna bring this back in here. As long as we're stamping, I think I'd like to stamp my inside layer. And that one is the four by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna bring in this just adorable, I call these like the floating or flourish of hearts. Floating hearts, flourish of hearts. Absolutely love these. And I'm going to put those right in the middle of my layer. And then we've got a memento black ink pad here. And I want to stamp the You Are Loved. This is for the inside of my card. So I'm just going to put that right there. And isn't that oh so pretty? I love that contrast of the lovely lipstick behind the black. Get out my glue here. We can add this right to the inside of our card. There we go. Okay. We're gonna set that aside again. Now, with this piece, we're going to bring in the die that cuts all the detail, okay? So if you were to lay this die over top of the image that you've got stamped here, it goes like this. Your big flower is here, right? I always, that's kind of my focal point on this die and stamp set is that big flower right there. So I wanna put this right in the middle pretty much of this layer. And this is our bigger layer. This is our three and a half by four and a half inch layer. I'm gonna run this through the Big Shot. I will be right back and show you exactly what I do with it. Okay, here comes our layer that we just die cut. And I'm gonna get out my Big Shot die brush here because that is the bomb with these intricate dies. All the little pieces will fall out and I don't have to do anything special. Okay, well, almost all of them. <laughs> now we're gonna very gently pop this off of here. There we go. We've got just a couple little tiny ones that didn't get a brush in them to fall out. Oh, that's it. That's all I needed to do. Put this away. Now this layer is gonna layer over top of this layer. And notice how it will cut it all the way off. You can snip this if you wanted this to be a single piece by itself. You could snip here and here. But we're gonna leave it together for right now. And we are going to position this over the flowers that are here. And you can see it's a tad bit crooked and that's okay. Remember, I cut this layer bigger so that I could move it around like that. We may need to trim this just a tiny bit. And I do wanna trim this down. This, this top piece is gonna get trimmed down to three by four and a quarter because that's my front layer. So I'm gonna run this through my paper cutter and trim this down. Okay, now I've trimmed it. Everything's even, everything looks great. I decided I wanted to pop this up on some dimensionals. And that's just gonna give your card a really interesting look, peeking underneath of this intricate die to the stamped images below. So we're gonna give it a lot of support here. And then I'm gonna take this piece and do the same thing.
Now you wouldn't have to pop this up if you didn't want to, so just know that. It's something that I chose to do because I think it's gonna look pretty darn cool. So now I'm just gonna line up those edges, just like this. And it's like putting a puzzle back together. I'm gonna bring this right back in here. I kind of want this to layer under there a little bit. There we go. That's just easier for placement. Oh my gosh. What do you guys think? Isn't that so, so pretty with be that being lifted up like that? I hope you can see this in the screen because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, now we're going to finish up the rest of our card. We're going to take some of the lovely lipstick ribbon. And we're going to run this down the side of our card, or I should say our front layer. Just got some tape here to help me secure that. Just like this. I love all these coordinating products. They're just so, so pretty. Okay. And then I decided that I wanted a bow, and this has got to be like the nicest bow tying ribbon ever because I made up so many bows with this and they just go together quickly. I don't have to do too much fussing with them. I think, you know, they're just the perfect type of material and the perfect width to get just a really, really pretty little bow. There we go. Now we're going to trim that off at an angle then I'm gonna grab my mini glue dots to secure this on my layer whoops I always like to kind of turn my bow over to see where does the middle look the best and I think it looks the best on this side so that's the side I'm gonna to keep towards the front here comes my bow right here Notice how I angled it so it's not covering up that beautiful, intricate die in the front. Okay, now we can just assemble this gorgeous card. My friends and family are going to love all the cards that I have made with this bundle because they're just so, so beautiful. Whoops. Hang on just a second. I've got a super thin margin of white on both sides here of the designer series paper. And while it's hard to see right now, once we put it on this dark, lovely lipstick background, now you can see it and it really makes that designer series paper pop. And I see that my cutting skills are not the greatest today. Do you guys struggle with that? Like, can you see that this is just a fraction of a inch longer than it needs to be? Yeah, so that's when I turn it to the inside, open it up, and give it a trim. And it's easier to follow the line here as a guide when you open it up like this. You can use that bottom edge of your card as the guide to trim that off. That's what I'm trying to say. Gosh, I got a little tongue twisted there. That'll happen. Then we're just going to put this right on the front in the middle of our most beautiful, amazing little card. What do you guys think? Now, I did not try to do anything with the part here that's kind of popping up. You can see it's kind of popping up because I just think that makes the card have so much cool, like, 3D interest. Okay, last but not least, we are going to take some of these beautiful epoxy hearts and I'm just going to position them around on this white layer. Now, you guys know I showed you the other day that you can actually take your Stampin' Blend markers and you can color these hearts. Any color you have an alcohol marker for, that will color these hearts. So that's pretty cool too. But for this particular card, I wanted them to be subtle and just be white. So they just add that like interest that doesn't pop out at you. All right, now, you guys want to hear about my online class? I hope so, because I can't hardly wait to tell you about it. So let me do this. I'm just going to bring out this pile of cards, 
and this card is the one that I showed you earlier this week and these are the other cards in the online class now I can't show those to you because this is a private online class but I can show you the card that I made the other day and then I've got another beautiful one here made by one of my team members Kathy Beck made this card and then if you pull in the heart dies and the Be Mine stamp set, this is a card made with that and the designer series paper. So we've got some absolutely gorgeous card ideas. Now my online class comes two ways. You can order the class from me for $25. And I know I said $20 the other day when I did a video about um, my class coming up, but that was a mistake and I apologize for that. I am correcting my error right now. This particular class is $25 because it's going to include eight card ideas, eight beautiful, gorgeous cards, just as fabulous as this one. Plus, we've got a box and six matching cards to go in the box, which makes a great gift idea. That's a bonus project, which brings the price to $25. You can get that entire online class, a private video for each one of the cards and the box and the set of cards, private videos for all of those, um, written instructions and photographs. You can get all that for $25 or you can get it free when you order the bundle of products from me. And that bundle includes the Forever Lovely stamp set and framelits, the All My Love ribbon combo pack, the All My Love Designer Series Paper, and the Heart Epoxy Droplets. When you order these four, well this is a bundle so that's one, but when you order these four products from me, you'll get my online class for free. You can find my blog and ordering buttons in the right hand column right here under a stampabove.com and use the host code for January right here if your order is under $150 because I will give you special perks. If your order is over $150, I want you to get the Stampin' Rewards that Stampin' Up! offers. So don't use the host code if your order is over $150. I'll still give you special perks with me. Make sure you click up here and go to my blog. Check out all the details for the online class. There will be ordering buttons on there so you can order the class by just clicking on a button or you can order the entire bundle on your own and then I will send you the online class or you can order it through me you click I send you an invoice through PayPal you pay the invoice I then order the products for you they get delivered right to your door usually within seven business days depending on where you're located across the United States so cool very cool online class. These cards are elegant and beautiful and classy. You're going to love this bundle because it is so easy to create with. I just had so much fun with it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Make sure that you're clicking down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. And if you're on YouTube watching this, click on that bell. There's a bell there by my video where you're going to get notifications when I have a new video come out. Click that like button and thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with me. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.